Hey everyone, this is my review of the Vanguard Ultra Pro 2 Plus 264 CT tripod. Can we cram any more letters and numbers in there? When it comes to photography gear, my philosophy has always been to choose your weapon and just start taking some pictures. But when it comes to tripods, that never seems to work out. You are always trading off for gains elsewhere. Probably the reason why I own four tripods, and I suspect I'm not the only one. But this tripod is the closest you're going to get to having everything you want. I think this is an outstanding tripod, especially when trying to get some difficult shots where the landscape prevents you from positioning yourself directly behind the camera. This version of the Alta Pro comes with a lot of neat features and it's surprisingly light considering its capabilities. The dual side screw suits head thread types 1 quarter of an inch through 3 eighths. I use Vanguard's Alta PH32. I'll talk about that a little more in depth in another video. It's not necessary to have that tripod head at all, but I ended up getting it. I think I got a good deal on buying both of them at the same time. Uh, one of the cool features I just mentioned is the rubber anti-shock ring they have mounted on the center column when you inevitably lower it too quickly. The center column is the best part of this tripod in my opinion. So to adjust the column, just release the central column lock knob and adjust. You can also get some really nice angles with the center column by releasing the same knob and the multi-angle system knob and retightening on the desired angle. You can also pan by unlocking the panning locking knob and you can pretty much get any angle you want to go. In a real world situation I used the center column when I was out taking some long exposures of a few waterfalls. Anyone who's done that knows how useful the center column is. My only caution when using the tripod in this way is just be aware to counterbalance the weight of the camera and the lens or some bad things really could happen real quick. This column, which is basically a small jib arm, pretty much enables you to reach out to just about whatever angle you want to go. Also, like many of the tripods nowadays, you can take the center column right off and invert it by releasing the button here. The carbon fiber legs are telescopic, which I've never been a huge fan of, but I have to admit these are pretty easy to loosen, adjust, and retighten without looking at them, which is important because a lot of the time, like most photographers, I have to adjust the tripod while keeping an eye on the subject. The legs extend out to four angles, 20, 40, 60, and 80 degrees. And of course, they can be adjusted individually to accommodate whatever terrain you're standing on. The spirit level is positioned right here on the side of the canopy. So this is a great tripod. It can do a lot and it's stable enough even to be used for video work, as I mentioned, with the right tripod head. It's also not that heavy if you find yourself hoofing it in the back 40 for a while. All the benefits come at a price though. It's over 300 bucks, but I think it's worth it. If you're moving on from beginner status in photography and upping your game, I would purchase one of these. I can't see where you would want to buy another one of this caliber. This is not the tripod I would travel with. I still prefer the Open 3535 for uh, travel. It's less cumbersome, but for an everyday tripod, you can't get any better than this. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.